Hello, everyone. My name is Sarms Jabra, um, or Sadamed Yasser Jabra, Ibrahim Jabra. Depends on who you ask and who I'm talking to. Uh, I work for the city of Detroit. Uh, I live in the city of Detroit. I did a fellowship in the city of Detroit. Big fan of this city. Second best city in the world. First best city of being Baghdad, uh, where I was born um, in the late 80s. We came here in the early 90s. Um, you know, my, my dad was in the army, my mom didn't know where he was, and he came back one day on leave, and they were just like, we're getting out of here. And they left, and we were able to leave uh, to Amman, because Amman was the only city that was really accepting Iraqi, I was accepting Iraqis at the time, so as refugees, we went over there. I was getting to be school age, and my parents said, okay, we need, we want our sons, I have a little brother, to start school where they finish it. So are we gonna to go to America or are we gonna to go to back home? And they weren't really sure. Uh, my grandma, my dad's mom, showed my mom this propaganda video about how America's this place with like topless car washes and drug addicts and stuff. And she's like, look, your husband's gonna be seduced by one of these hussies. I have yet to find a topless car wash. So, and I've been here for 20 years. Um, I'm sure they're here somewhere. Uh, in any case, so we left Amman. We came to America. We were able to come to America pretty easily as far as, you know, leaving everything behind can be for two reasons. Um, one, my mom was actually born in Colorado. The second part of that is in addition to uh, being born in America, my, my mom used to and still kind of works for the United Nations. She was doing data analysis for them. When the war happened, Iraqi currency went from three times the American dollar to 33 cents. So your currency, even if you're wealthy, depreciates by 900 percent thankfully her pension was in american dollars so she was able to cash that out we came here uh we came to midland michigan which is in the middle of uh, michigan rural city the one thing i would like to point out my brother is 26 he was born in february 1990 the war the gulf storm started i think in may 1990 um so effectively for my brother's entire life in, in he's in his mid 20s america has had has either been at war sanctioning or occupying iraq in any case yeah things began to change drastically after uh, 9 11 suddenly became being brown was a thing and i you know i mentioned i kind of go by two different names well i've, I've started i started going by sarms at that point because people just became very curious about oh sarmad where are you from oh you're from iraq what do you think about the war what do you think about saddam I'm thinking, you know, what do you think I feel about that? And, you know, they might have good intentions, like, God bless you for being curious, but it's a painful experience for someone who has had their entire life kind of drastically shifted to, to go over those wounds. But what I'm really concerned about is my, fam my younger cousins, you know. Uh, I, have a, um, older, I have an older cousin she is phenomenal. She was the first attorney in like our extended family. She's got this beautiful family. She lives in Georgia. She's got a, a son and um, I think he's in third grade or something. And I just heard about this just the other day. Um, he, one of his classmates, you know, in his third grade class called him a terrorist. And that's heartbreaking. That's, you know, for his, his one classmate to say that, he must have gotten it from somewhere, right? And kids just kind of repeat back what they hear. They reflect the world that is presented to them. And this is the world that's presented to my cousin's classmate. And now this is the world that's being reflected onto my cousin. And that is not a world that I want anyone to live in because it's a dark, mean, horrible world. And as this product of war and as a refugee and as a son of refugees, I know what darkness can look like. You know, I begin to think to myself, you know, with this election, like what is going to happen? And on a local level, you know, I'm trying to have these conversations with people in Detroit just to come together, to know each other, to build a network. And, and then from there, be able to respond strategically to, you know, what may come. 